welcome back to my channel. In today's video is more of a chilled out type of video but I'm just going to kind of be giving you all a life update. I don't have any makeup on because I had zero effort and I'm also wearing in my joggers because comfort is key and I'm just going to be opening some makeup parcels. The reason why I have been ordering some new makeup bits is because I actually have a new business venture which I am very excited to share with you guys. I am going to be a self-employed makeup artist. Like how exciting is that? This is what I've been waiting to do since I left school. So it's been three years now. I have passed all my college courses, immediate makeup and in my beauty therapy courses. So I am fully qualified in everything now, which I'm super happy about. And I've been having a look in a few salons and I think I might be going into one soon. I have been getting to know a couple of salon owners and they've been speaking and I'm going to be renting a room hopefully. When I film this I am not in a room as of yet but fingers crossed by the time this video is up I could be in a room in a salon somewhere. So this is a very exciting time for me like it can be all to take a moment, like, you know, I'm I'm growing up, I'm finally wanting to do what I've always wanted to do in a way now, so, yeah, but as you can tell, I do have a few parcels here to open, and I'm sure you guys are super excited for me to open them on camera. I did kind of open these two because I could not help myself, I was too excited, and I just am obsessed with everything. I have got uh, this one arrived today, hence why I've not opened it. So I'm going to open them on camera for you guys. But before we get into this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. It would be nice to get to a like goal of 30 likes on this video. Also, leave a comment and subscribe. And without further ado, let's go on the video. I actually have three parcels here. The one which is in the box, and then I actually have two Doll Beauty parcels. Honestly, guys, Doll Beauty have so many deals at the moment. Last month they were selling five pairs of eyelashes for £10 and I ended up ordering three sets of them. But this time they they were actually selling, oh, what's it called, a £10 lucky dip where you get a fake tan, a lip liner, a pair of eyelashes and a highlighter. All full sized products as well by the way and I cannot believe what I've actually got. Doll Beauty always have amazing deals on their makeup and all their makeup products are amazing, especially their highlighters and eyelashes. They are incredible. And these they look at dips actually come in they're the cutest little bags. Like how cute are they? They're like a little mill bag type of things. I can hear an ambulance go across my house, so I might as well wait. This is the joys of living on a busy road where there's always ambulances going past your house. Oh, it was a fire engine, but same thing, you know. Anyway, firstly, I'm going to open the first look at dip. So, first off, I got the doll tan in deep dark. I have never actually tried the doll beauty tan before. Leave a comment if you guys have tried it. It is in the shade deep dark, which could be too dark for me. I'm not quite sure. We will have to wait and see. If you'd like me to test it out in the video, maybe let me know because I will be up for that because I've not had any tan on in ages. So, yes, yeah, so doll tan. I'm definitely going to try this out and I am sure it'll be amazing because everything I've tried from Doll Beauty has always been a 10 out of 10. So, yeah, that's the first item. Then we have got a pair of eyelashes in Taylor. Oh, I mean, let's just take a moment to appreciate the packaging, first of all. And these eyelashes are very big ones. I think I've actually got a couple of, I think I've actually got a couple of these in this same style from the five eyelashes for £10. That was such a good deal, but this, this deal is still as good so far. Bearing in mind the eyelashes are often £10 a pair and I'm not quite sure how much this one is actually but I think it could be around 
the 10 to 15 pounds if I'm right. I'm not quite sure. Then we have actually got an art. Uh, I was going to say an eyeliner, it's a lip liner in the You Go Girl and I tried to get this out of the box yesterday but it won't come out so is that the postman? Wait a minute guys no, I don't think it's the postman I'm not quite sure, I'm going to try and take this out of the box today can we all appreciate the packaging as well again these things are so difficult to get out. Come on. Ooh. Okay. I think I like the colour of this. It's like a pinky purpley colour. Oh my god. Yeah, this is such a pretty lip liner. I might have to open it another time. It's not actually having any scissors on me. But it is very similar to my Morphe lip liner in the Crush. And I actually use that shade all the time. So I'm pretty buzzing about that. A lovely, a lovely little shade and I definitely know I will be getting a lot of use out of that one anyway. So thank you Dolby for putting uh, that beautiful shade in. I am excited. Oh and then uh, next up it's a full size highlighter uh, like a diamond. I actually already have this already and uh, can I just say it is incredible. Incredible. Honestly I cannot fault their highlighters. Oh my god it's a brand new one. They actually have the exact same shade over there and oh my god it's the best highlighter ever. For paleer skin obviously. Oh are you ready? It's so pretty. The highlighters just made my day but that shade oh my god it's never been used before. It's so pretty to look at. Yeah this is what it was in the first bag and I'm pretty buzzing about that. Adult Beauty, we will always have a special place in my heart now and the packaging as well. I don't keep going on about it, but their packaging, I just, yeah, it's incredible. And then again, I got a fake tan and it's actually in the same shade, so hopefully it won't be too dark for me. If not, I might have to sell it or give it to someone I know who is darker skin compared to me because I am as pale as anything, but it's fine. Then, Highlighter, this is a different shade. It's actually shine bright and it's more of like a, a lighter golden one, so slightly darker compared to like a diamond. Um, so I, I'm pretty happy because it looks like a nice shade and it'll be better for using it on darker skin people, so that's pretty good with that. And it's perfect because I'll have to. Oh, what's the word called? I'll have to cater for all kinds of skin types and tones and and everything and like that because when you're a makeup artist and not everybody it's going to be the same shade in foundations and highlighters so yes I've got the, the two brand new highlighters which I cannot smash imagine if I dropped one or something I would actually cry but yeah I've all stuck up the highlighters now the lip liner this time we have girl code. I'll try and see what shade this one is because I like to see what shades they are. I think it's very similar actually. It's more of like a lighter kind of colour. It's always hard to tell on this bit of the stick but it's a very similar purpley pinky colour. I'm not complaining because I love that colour a lot. I'm just going to take them both out of the packaging now because I can. Why not? But oh my god, the Doll Beauty again. Then a pair of eyelashes in Brooke. A lovely more naturally kind of style, but they're still very pretty. And I'll be using these for my clients as well. So for £20, we have got two full size fake tans, two highlighters which are full sized, two lip liners, and two pairs of eyelashes. If you bought all these individually, yeah, this will probably come to, I'm trying to think here, 50, £90, which is a, a big saving. So head over to Doll Beauty, yeah, they always have the best deals and bundles on. Yeah, definitely have a look. The quality of the products as well are unbelievable and I'm going to be able to use all these goodies on my clients now. So who is a happy girl?
I am a happy girl, 100%. I mean, at the moment, I don't even look like I am a makeup artist. Trust me, I am. I just couldn't be bothered today because I, I had makeup on yesterday and it must skin needs a break. Also, it's absolutely sweltering outside again. So, I just want my skin to breathe and just be able to, like, yeah, just, yeah. You, you know what I mean? My next parcel, which has arrived today, is from Peaches and Cream. Peaches and Cream is a UK based brand. Their shop is actually in, in Liverpool and they are well known for their eye pigments because I use them all the time. Insane. They have every colour of the rainbow in there and I must have around 10 of their pigments. Anyway, I was in need of a new set of makeup brushes and I think I actually might have found a bundle on there, so I'm just going to show you because I've kind of forgotten what I've actually ordered in a way. I'm just going to, right, open it this way. Oh, honestly, the way yeah, they package all the items in the post, it, it makes me so happy. So, on here it says pick and mix. I think I might have actually got a bundle. I'm going to have a look and see what I've got. Oh yes, so I actually got, what? Right, okay, I'm just looking and on the invoice, because I've got a bundle of 10 brushes and they've ticked all to mop apart from one and they put a different brush name down. So I'm really confused. It may be the sold out, I had to swap it for another one. I'm, I'm not sure, but I think I've got two bundles and then the one product on its own. So I got a trio of treats bundle, a pick any 10 brushes bundle, and then the one product on its own. So what we're going to start off with is oh, what's this? Oh, bless. Oh, all right. This makes sense now. Hello, Alice. Hope you're okay. Thanks for your order from Peaches and Cream. Unfortunately, we have sold out of the PC21 brush style from your order we, had, we were unable to contact you I shouldn't leave any content information at the checkout so we had to sub it if the substitute is unsuitable please check our email a customer service and exchange it oh bless them yeah, that is so cute alright yeah, that makes sense now I probably should have read this before I looked at the invoice but I mean yeah alright okay so they've actually stopped me a brush. Anyway, how cool are these bags? Yeah, this is what they actually put all their kind of packaging in, which I think is really cool. Firstly, we'll start off with the oh, what was it called? The singular product. I have actually really wanted to try. Oh God, it's tiny. I was oh my God, this is tiny. Can I pay like a fiver for this? Okay, guys. I'll pay $5.95 for this. Okay. Well, anyway, I actually have a cream contour at the moment, and the peaches and cream only do a cream contours in the darkest shade for some reason. So, they actually have this blush in Amoretto, and it's a cream blush, and I thought I could maybe use it for the cream contour because it's a lighter shade but it's got like a lot of water dots on it yeah I'm going to be using this for the cream contour but it's tiny I was expecting it to be this side this is a comparison guys like what? <laughs> but I mean I'm not complaining I am sure it'll be able to last a long time if not, I'll just have to buy another one. But, yeah, that's the first thing I got. And it's a cream blush in the shade Amaretto. Wow, I mean, yeah. What's these? Right. Yeah, what's in here? I actually, I've actually forgotten what I've ordered. Oh, okay. So, in this bag, there should be... 
a lip gloss, a lip liner and an eye pigment. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, this was the other trio of treats. Um, oh, what's it called? Honestly, my memory is going so bad. I have been up since 4 o'clock, so don't attack me for an have good memory. A trio of treats, a bundle. So firstly, you could choose any shade or style or whatever. So I got one of their glosses in Melrose because like, it's more of like a brown colour and their glosses are unbelievable. The pigmentation is a 10 out of 10. Yeah, the colours of them are unbelievable. Yeah, the quality, yeah, they actually smell amazing. And I've also got a lip liner in Praline yeah, to go with this. They don't have like brown colours but I really like them and then I decided to get a pigment because if you know me I love the pigment in Disco. I've actually wanted to try this one for ages. So here we go. How yeah it's a lovely silvery colour. It's very similar to Gatsby but Gatsby it's have a bit of gold in it but they're their pigments. Oh, I love them. So I'm chuffing myself because I've got a little pigment there. And then finally, yeah, what have they sold me for? Yeah, what brush was it? It was PC05. Okay. Oh my god, yeah. The brush that I sold out is the one I wanted most as well. Oh no, they can't do this to me. What, why? Okay, well, I mean, at least I've got a few brushes anyway. Oh, yeah, eyebrow brush. I have to use this myself, and I do have uh, multiple eyebrow brushes, but nothing compares to this. This is PC09. Unbelievable. Maybe then, or oh, PC08. This is what yeah, they sub to me. Uh, to be honest, yeah, that'll probably be okay because it's just a bigger version. Of the one they subbed me for. It must be used for contouring, which is really good. I want to keep them on in the in the plastic packaging. Uh, peach and cream brushes are amazing quality. The PC50, it's like a flat the kind of brush for putting eye glitters on and everything like that. Very handy. We then have the PC1 which would be good for putting foundation on your face that's a good brush we then have this one which is PC54 good for eye glitters wow whoa look at this brush this is a very cool brush PC02 you know, I just sound like a proper weirdo I'm, I'm really sorry PC28 I actually have this for myself as well and it's a highlighter brush amazing I then have a PC46, a very small liner brush, I love it so much. PC4, it's like more of, a, of like a blush brush. And then another favourite of mine, and mine actually looks the bigger compared to this one. Well, let's just say you changed it. it. It's PC29 and it's good for cream contour. So, including postage, I spent 59.40. The only thing I was kind of disappointed about was this, but... If it's going to be good quality, I don't really mind as such. So for £59, a 10 makeup brushes, a cream blush, a lip liner, a gloss and a pigment. It's not a bad the price to be honest. I mean, a full set of makeup brushes can cost £50 on the run. So I think I've got a pretty good deal there. Um, and I am very excited to try everything here on myself and on my clients because you know I'm gonna be after to be ordering makeup all the time and now for when I have makeup clients and stuff and I'm very excited it basically is just an excuse for me to be able to order makeup and then my mum not have to tell me off for it so I mean it's a good time for me right now but anyway guys I'm gonna end this video here because I have got to go out the house soon I'm going to Scott's house so I will have to travel a wee bit. It's now half twelve. Wow, it's half twelve already. Oh my god, it's actually so warm. Yeah. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below, and subscribe. And if you would like to see more of these type of videos where 
I unbox products and everything, but then leave a comment. But yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye everybody!